No, it wasn't a great game, but it's just a reality where we are right now. I think that was uh, freestyle football versus continental technical football. And that is where, for me, Wolves are there. I thought I was in awe, man. I'd be real out here. That's what I want United to be like, technical football. And Conor Cody here is a brilliant ball player centre-back. And people laugh at him and say, you know what, He's not. he shouldn't be a target for my United. He out there, good on the ball. You know, be good defender, you know what I mean? I feel like from, this, from every single position on that team, from Saiz to Dan Donker, every single person knew know what they were doing that game. Play through the lines, you know what I mean? Every single person knew where they were. From the ball, Jimenez from the throw-in. Mm. He gets the ball, what does he do? Over the top, he knows where the uh, netto is. That's what you call tactical football. Everyone knows where they are in the positions. I just feel like, again tonight, it's just freestyle for me. And I keep saying it all the time, I don't see a clear plan in this United team. You know what I mean? From the, from the, from the ball, when he gets to Lindelof and Maguire, mm. where is the positioning? I just look at the two midfielders in there, Fred and Mokhtar and uh, Fingy. Matic, they don't complement each other. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to find a way of complementing each other. You just can't have them both sitting. I don't know why Fred always is on a base. Why can't Fred play further forward? Let let sometimes link up with the uh, Quan Mato. Let's let's you know in, in a four three three. I thought it was a four three two one today. You know what I mean? I want to see Fred more. You know, moving up the pitch more. You know what I mean? Playing on the left left kind of centre midfield. Midfield was awful. We couldn't, couldn't get near them. Matuidi or Neves, mate. People talk about Bruno Fernandes, mate. I think you look at, you've got to look at Neves, mate. He ran that midfield. Him and Matuidi, yeah, ran that midfield. But I thought second half. I thought Lindelof for me, I think it's man of the match for me today. I thought he was for me good centre back today in terms of he kept he kept him in at bay. And I'm and I'm and, and I always say Lindelof's not good enough for this football club. But credit where it's true today, I thought it's solid today. I thought he came at um, um what's it called, Jimenez when he needed to, to you know he roughed it up a bit, you know what I mean, got the first balls in there. I just look at this overall picture and I just keep looking at it again, I think. Where's, where's the structure in the football club? Where's the kind of idea that Oli has? I don't see it. I just don't see what pattern of play he has. You know what I mean? When we get the ball, where's the interchange? Where's the kind of... Well, for me, it looks like Quan Mata is being our, is our instrument playmaker now. We're at this minute where United are with the best of bad bunch, mate. And, and I look at it, Quan Mata, for me, has the only kind of technical ability out of the whole lot. Yeah, and it just shows where United are yeah, right now. 31-year-old, yeah, yeah. we're relying on it. On a 31-year-old. I think his legs are gone, really, in all honesty. But what you don't lack is that kind of, you know, technique and your kind of vision. vision yeah. And he has that. He sees decision the game. making. Decision making. He sees the game differently. And he also gets in the positions where Lingard and Pereira never heard of, mate. And that was a game for me. A moment of quality won the game. Yeah. Apart from that, I just look at that and I thought, did, was it was a job there to say, you know what, let's not get any injuries. But then again, Rashford got down today. Let's not get any injuries. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's get the game. Be professional. Tonight was a professional performance. Yeah. Stay safe on the centre backs. Midfield compact. I don't think they, they rarely moved. Matic and Fred, they rarely moved. Hmm. I thought Fred one of his quiet games today. I, yeah. He gave the ball away leadlessly. I thought he wasn't creative in kind of expert way. He gives the ball quickly. But today was back to the basics. Mm. Listen, mate, I don't know what Rans was on, man. You get me? I don't, I, you know what I mean? I don't know where he got his confidence from, but I just look at him, they're on a different level. There's a case of heroes versus, you know what I mean? That kind of, you know, villain versus, the, you know, Goliath. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't. I just look at it, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer comes with a counter-attacking formation. If we sit back and just almost invite Liverpool to play, mm. then it's not going to work. We need to have a, an emphasis on the game. We need to come with a game plan. It can't just be, you know, we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday now mm. to, to work on a game plan. It's not as if we're playing them Thursday, Sunday. Mm. We've got a few days to say, you know what, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, if you're going to have one game, <laughs> one game, <laughs> Choose this one. listen mate, let's end this Liverpool you know what I mean? Yeah. Unbeaten run, yeah? Let's end this bullshit, yeah? Because they're winning the league at the minute, you get me? I don't want an unbeaten run. Mm. So we just need to come out with a game plan. I don't want to come there almost like a, a like a mid, mid, -table, mid table club, yeah? And just say, you know what, Liverpool, you're, on a, you're top of the league. You know what? You deserve that. No, mate. We've got to come in there with a game plan. Counter attacking FC. Anything you want, mate. Pereira last in this, mate. I want everything in that game. Well, I want to see how. You know what? <laughs> yeah, we want to be coming out. <laughs> there was times when he was sloppy, but then there was times when it looked like the team was starting to gel and he was getting a few passes together and we, we were trying, starting to break him down. It's not Ollie, is it? It's if Woodward's going to spend money, man. But you know what? For me, yeah, just stick with Fernandez. Don't go panic buying, buying everyone else. Listen, Fernandez, we wanted Fernandez in the summer, so let's get him now. Forget the panic buy. Like Ollie said, the panic buys don't work. The panic buys need to stop, and that's why the club in a mess at the minute because we're just panic buying and that's where the problems start let's just stick with Ollie, let's stick with Fernandez, and let's see where we go with him yeah in the first half I thought we were quite bad as well yeah. we can't we're struggling to make the five yard passes again and Matic is just really slow isn't he they're playing much more attacking than us in the first half like and we can see that from the stands and they're putting so much more effort in than us especially in that first half you know it kind of changed a bit when Matt put a goal in but you know 
before that, they were dominating us. We gave Phil Jones five, whatever year contract, but we can't trust. We can't trust him coming because he starts. It's mm. a pink boot. Yeah. <laughs> we need Bruno Fernandes in that team because mm. Mata, Pereira, Lingard—they're just not good enough. Mata, Mata's only good when the game's slow, like against Norwich. He was mm. good, wasn't he? Two mm. assists. That was because they're really slow. Mm. But uh, Pereira—I don't know where Pereira plays. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need Bruno Fernandes, yeah. I think. I mean, it was similar to the first game we played at the Molyneux. It was flat at times, it was very boring, sideways, sideways. And when we did get past the defence, it was a ball over the top. If you're a player like Daniel James of his size, he's not going to get, he's not going to beat them in the air or stuff like that. Do you see what I mean? So mm. it was a bit annoying to see all these long balls all the time. We, we could have done things better, but it's still, we're still seeing the same things. The mm. same, we still don't know how to break a team down. When I looked at the lineup, I was like, okay, they mean, they mean business here mm. today. But it just didn't look like it. Um, mm. I think that played to our advantage as well. Mm. Helped us get the goal. Helped us, you know, helped us concede. Not concede, sorry. That's gonna have a massive, massive effect on us, man. If he's out, yeah, we don't stand a chance against Liverpool. Let's be honest, because mm. if he's out, where the goal's gonna, where are the goal's gonna come from? Apart mm. from Greenwood, maybe, because mm. he's our main threat. Like, mm. if the goals are gonna, are gonna come from somewhere, it's gonna be Rashford. Mm. So he's been our best player this season so far I have to be honest with that and actually while I was watching the game I was reading on Twitter that he was, he's been carrying a bone, bone healing device or something like that and I'm like what a bone yeah. healing device so he's been playing injured all this time mm. and it's the same maybe with Lingard as well today Lingard again no no impact whatsoever mm. the guy's just not he's not his head's not in the game right now so if that was another manager like a Fergie or something he would have been like you know what mm. have a couple of weeks off mm. you know what I mean just take your mind off football for, for a bit and then come back mm. but because our squad is so thin we just end up keeping we, we end up playing Lingard all the time so bringing him on today what was that about I can't he can't defend the indif honest that's indefensible and both Rashford and, and, and Solskjaer the first half what have the club been doing from summer to, when the transfer the summer transfer closed till now how come they've not been planning knowing that we know what we need Man United this is who we are we're not that club anymore I don't want to sound negative but mm. it's clear to see for everybody there that midfield has got no legs. Fred is tired. You could see that. You, you don't just get physically tired, you get mentally tired. You know what? I was praying that goal was disallowed because I was thinking, if they score this game, we're mm. gone. I've never heard so many moans and groans in that ground. Mm. For I've, I've not heard that many because everybody was just on edge. Yeah. Whoever scored first was going to win at the end of the day. That's what that game looked like today. We got mm. lucky with VAR, yeah. man. Mm. They were just... My age looked all right today, though. To be fair, he's playing well now recently and he, he ain't going anywhere and I think he'll probably get a new contract now. They're offering that. fucking Ashley Young and Phil Jones and fucking bullshit like that contracts every week. <laughs> Matic deserves one compared to them guys. <laughs> Chris Smalling, yeah. when they all signed new deals, we were all looking going, what the hell's going on here? He, he probably won't, he probably should go. Mm. And I think, as, as well as Matter has played in the last couple of games, he probably should move on in the summer, realistically. Because mm. he's not, if we, with, with a player like Matter, you have to tailor the game, have to tailor the game plan to him. Mm. Like Ozil, you have to play around him. Mm. And we ain't, we ain't doing that. Don't know about Liverpool, in terms of how quick their midfield is mm. and how quick they are. I think he gets bossed off the ball by the likes of one Alden and Henderson. I think, I think we need a Pereira who is just going to run like a fucking headless chicken like he's, he reminds me of park in a way just like just runs <laughs> yeah. just fucking runs like i don't know man it's i'm not uh, rance was saying uh, on the on a senior show rance was saying that he reckons we'll beat liverpool do you know what if anyone's going to do it it's going to be us mm. i reckon like because whenever when they were like seven six we used to slip up against them a yeah, lot it can happen yeah. and i think we're now at that point where they you know when we play them you know it's, it goes form goes out the window it's a massive fucking game when we play liverpool man i'm i'm dreading it to be honest because my <laughs> My housemate, my housemate's a Liverpool fan, so I'm fucking. Oh, yeah. I'm scared. What could happen to Rashford is the same thing that happened to Rooney. Just burn out. Mm. But playing from a young age, every fucking game, and he, Rooney burned out when he was what, 27, 28. Realistically, he wasn't. He came. He was at. He was in the top 10 in the world mm. uh, when, when we won the point. Champions League up until probably about 2013, and then he just dropped off. Mm. But I'm afraid that Rashford could go through the same thing now, playing through injury like last year he did with his ankle mm. and stuff, just pumping him full of painkillers and stick him out on the pitch. Yeah, right. I, I'm nervous, oh. but I, I, you know, I'm hopeful. Yeah. You know, what are we if we're not hopeful with football fans? You know? And the reality is that when we saw what happened at the beginning of the season, in terms of the players that we, we brought in, we all knew we weren't really going to finish in the top four. Mm. But as United fans, obviously seeing it unfold in front of us, a bit difficult for us to kind of take. But if we're all realistic with ourselves and we look at the buyers and the players that we bought in, because obviously everyone's upset and thinking we can do better, Oli can do better, he can mm. position it better, um, he can like, 
like strategically, like tactically make the players do this, do that. But at the end of the day, when you look at the players that we've got, what really can you do with them type of players, especially in the midfield? Mm. So for me, I just look at the back four and I think, you know what, the back four and the players that he brought in, they're doing okay in mm. terms of the buyers. Mm. Then we know that up front, our players, the strikers, they score goals when they get the service. So for me, I just want to see him with a window when he brings in midfielders and I'll give him till most probably like December next year mm. and see what's really going on. Because I think if he's got his midfielders in and we're pushing, because look, everyone keeps on saying, bring in Poch and replace Oli. So my thing is, what has Poch done in terms of what's his heights? So his heights is top four, can see, like can see this league getting top four and going to a Champions League final. Mm, yeah. It's one of them games that if they score first, we just can't get back. We just we didn't have it in us. To, to you know what I mean to get it back and I just felt like we got to score that first goal and a lot of times watching United this season it's been like that where you feel like if anyone scores now we're done